Philippines and the whole world. According to GoVisitPhilippines.com, all year round in Munting Lupa, one can find the perfect mix of modern comfort and leisure, commerce, trade, and nature that satisfies their senses without the worrying effect of overload. The lingering pastoral appeals that city's green landscape, blending with shopping malls, first-class restaurants, high-rise corporate, condominium buildings, and five-star hotels is a welcome readers. A distinctive characteristic that Munting Lupa apart from other urban centers in Metro Manila. Muntin Lupa is an old term which refers to a town now known as Abubuan. As early as 1800, the Catholic priest named Father Joaquin Zunica chronicled the place as La Bogacion Queso Queso Muntin Lupa. On December 19, 1917, an Executive Order 108 granted Muntin Lupa to be an independent municipality. On February 16, 1917, Muntin Lupa was converted to a highly urbanized city through hospital number 14401. It is the southernmost city. In Philippines National Capital Region, Montilupa also given a nickname Emerald City of the Philippines by the tourism establishment. On 2001, 2002, and 2006, Montilupa was awarded by the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry as the most business-friendly city. Also, Montilupa, also Montilupa is the is the first city in the Philippines to ban the use of plastic bags and styrofoam for packaging. The city encourages the bring your own bag or bio to reduce the use of plastic bags. The following are the proposed laws for the betterment of the municipality of Mutin Lupa. Political law. Political law is refers to the uh, it's a legal legal established area encompassing the select the voting rights law, campaign finance law, um, laws governing lobbying and lobbies, open government law, legislative and executive branch ethics codes, legislative procedure, administrative procedure, cons constitutional law, legislation and regulatory structure. We all know that Mutin Lupa has one of the classified urban city. First is the pay-to-play restriction. Pay-to-play refers to the businessmen make contributions to the public officials, political officials, or party themselves, and they will receive political and pecuniary benefits such as no good government contracts, the influence over our legislation, politic politics appointments or nominations, special. Paper. Alcohol drug law for the consumption and premises. In New York, for the purpose of state law, there are only four hours out of each day in a week, with the exception of Sunday, in which alcohol may not be served at 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. This was designed to accommodate New York City nightlife as well as late night burgers in statewide in general. Here in the Philippines, bars are free to operate until 6 a.m. or until their customers. For consumption of premises, only liquor stores may obtain license to sell liquor for off-premises consumption. Grocery and drug stores may obtain license to sell beer and or beer and wine products only. A minor visiting liquor stores must be accompanied by an adult at all times. And violations can lead to the owner or to the manager being charged with a second degree unlawfully dealing with a minor, a class B misdemeanor. I want to impose this law because teenagers know they can buy a liquor everywhere and they end up in trouble. The, if the parents can handle their children, this law can stop the teenagers to have an alcohol addiction and ask their back. Labor law may change the relationship between workers, employing entities, trade unions, and the government. Collective labor law relates to the tripartite relationship between employees, employer, and unions. Redundancy. Rules on redundancy have also been incorporated in many collective bargaining agreements. The procedure to be followed may vary from one collective bargaining agreement to another. Before initiating collective redundancy, it is therefore very important to identify the procedural rules to be followed in order to comply with applicable law. This law is from Denmark. We want to implement this law even though we have a high employment rate. We need to impose this kind of law to let the business industry contribute to the economic growth. Protection of part-time workers. 
Part-time workers are defined as those who prescribe weekly working hours are short compared to the ordinary workers. Their working conditions are guaranteed proportionate to the working hours of ordinary workers. This law is from South Korea. This law is focusing on students who attend school by work. We would like to implement this law to the city of Montenegro because we want that the employees to be simultaneously employed full-time and still be enrolled full-time. It is the body of rules that delineate private rights and remedies and governed by disputes individuals in such areas as contracts, property, and family law, distinct from criminal law or public law. Civil law systems, which trace their roots to ancient Rome, are governed by doctrines developed and complied by legal scholars. Legislators and administrators in civil law countries use these doctrines the fashion of gold by which all legal controversies are decided. The civil law systems are derived from the Roman corpus juris civilis of Emperor Christian I. It, it distinct from a common law system. Protection of honor and dignity. A citizen or an organization may demand in court that statements concerning its honor and dignity be denied. If the person who has circulated such a statement is unable to show that they are true, if such a true statement has been circulated in the press, they must also be denied in the press. In other cases, the court chooses the matter of denial. In order to protect one's honor and dignity as a person from false accusation, we should implement this kind of law with a fine, in a serious defamation, imprisonment is a must. The general periods of limitations of actions, the general period within which a person whose right has been violated, may bring an action to defend those rights, and an action brought by state organization, cooperative, and public organization. I think we should implement this to Montenegro Basili because rivalry between companies cannot be avoided. They are competing for the customers and because of that, they are starting to make stories between parties. Tax law in the Philippines covers the national and local taxes. The national taxes imposed and collected, it is referred to internal revenue tax imposed and collected by the national government through the view of internal revenue and the local taxes imposed and collected by the local government. One of the laws that I would like to implement to the city of Montilupa is the carbon tax, which can be implemented to help reduce the use of energy. According to the EPSEA, because of the flexibility it provides to firms and households and how to decide on how to reduce the use of energy. This in return most likely to minimize the cost of production. In return, in modeling the economy, the tariff reform alone lowered the cost of the tariff The next is the Inspector General of Taxation. For the public to know where their taxes go, this law was also inspired from Australia where their general purpose is of reporting and making recommendations to the government on how the systems could be improved. On the completion of the review, the Inspector General and the government will make this review available to the general public. Mercantile law or commercial law is the law that regulates commercial activities in the economy. It is a very wide term and all the laws generate commercial transactions. Penalties for late payment. It applies as of right as from the date of the payment was due. The parties may not agree on the late payment penalties in an amount less than three times the legal interest rate. If no penalties were agreed, penalties were calculated on the basis of the interest rate. Franchise agreement. Franchise agreement is an organized relationship between a franchisor, a manufacturer, or provider of a services of a product who owns a relating trademark by a franchisee. An individual or a company willing to distribute such as product or services under the franchise name. Philippine criminal law is the body of law in defining the penalties thereof in the Philippines. Individuals can only commit tax fraud by violating any federal criminal law, such as underreporting income, overestimating deductions or expenses, making false statements to investigators, or not filing a yearly tax return. We interviewed the second district councillor, Yushi Constantino, and asked him about the incidences to share to us some of the incidences of tax evasion in the city of Montilupa. Marami na lang nangyayari. Ano po usually yung mga... Huwag nang nangyayari. Halimbawa, mga nag-operate sila na hindi na nila kinuha ng business permit. Yun, timang mo, pinapadak namin yan, dinidikita na namin yun. This this establishment is temporary closed na rin. Temporary na, hindi naman nasabing totally closed. Wala ka magbabayad ka naman, eh, pwede ka makapag-operate. Ma-open po. Oo, ma-open na rin. Pero meron po sila parang notice po muna bago po lagyan ng temporary. Yes, yes. We give them a notice na you have to pay your taxes before you operate your business.
people can. According to Investopedia, the Code of Ethics may outline the missions and values of the business or organizations, how professionals are supposed to approach problems, and the ethical principles based on the organization's core values, and the standards to which the professionals is held. The following are the proposed law of ethics for the chosen city. Confidentiality Act. You shall treat information with respect and assess or disclose it only in the proper course of duty. This law originated from England and it shall involve all the, the whole local community of Putin, no one, not only the local government. We would like to implement this law not for so called accusations or rumors will not spread against neighbors or businesses, circulating the whole city. Next is the Social Responsibility Act. Enterprises shall involve themselves in promoting and or participating in, in projects of a civic, social, or cultural nature concerning the well-being and or development of local population. This law origins from Europe. We would like to implement this law not only for the businesses to have the economy of the Montelupa but also help the city to be known for its different celebrations or festivals. UNWTO Ethics According to World Tourism Organization, a legal and regulatory framework for the sustainable development and management of tourism, protection and conservation of natural and cultural resources, and facilitation of the involvement of private sector and local communities in tourism development activities. It reflects roles and responsibilities of inbound, outbound tour operators and all other concerned players in the tourism field. The Religion Act Tourism professionals should contribute to the cultural and spiritual fulfillment of the tourists and allow them during their travel to practice their religions. We would like to implement this law so that all the tourists will be knowledgeable about other foreign cultures. The Tourist Safety Act The public authorities of the generating states in host countries should ensure that the necessary mechanisms are in place for the repatriation of the tourists in the event of bankruptcy of the enterprise that organized their travel. We would like to implement this law so that all the tourists and tour guides will feel safe and secure. The stated laws that we find appropriate and applicable are only mere suggestions to the municipality of Muntinlupa. The local government still has the final say to the laws that will be imposed to the city. We also hope that after watching this video, a lot of students or people will be encouraged to study tourism in order to help our government in dealing with the problems regarding our tourism industry. So what are you waiting for? Choose tourism, choose UE Manila.